morning, not financial advice, do your own research. My name is Wes, and if you're interested in earning passive income using Gyro, then you have found the right video for you. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our MetaMask wallet set up on the Binance Smart Chain. So to do that, we're going to come up here to our MetaMask browser extension. We're going to go to the top where it says Ethereum mainnet or whatever network you're currently on. Scroll down to custom RPC. In the network name, we're going to put Binance Smart Chain. For the new RPC URL, we're going to come over here and we're going to make sure that we're on mainnet and we're going to click this RPC URLs link. And I'll put the link for that site uh, down below so you can uh, have that readily available when you're going through and doing this. Following along, you copy and paste that first recommended um, URL into the new RPC URL slot. Then we're going to go back to the first page, get the chain ID, which is 56. 56 doesn't work because it says here you can do 0x38. Currency symbol is BNB. Uh, block Explorer URL is right down here. So we'll copy and paste that in. And that should get us the Binance Smart Chain mainnet. And it does, as you can see, I already have a little bit of BNB in here from previous transactions. Okay, so now that we have our Binance wallet set up, we need to fund our wallet. And the easiest way to do this that I found is using KuCoin. Um, Binance, I haven't found a bridge that works just to send from the you know, funds from the Ethereum mainnet over into the Binance, um, into my bank, into my Binance wallet. So um, using KuCoin is the best that I've found um, and looking around, it's kind of what other people suggested as well. So if you click trade, go to spot trading, you need to set up an account and go through all that. Um, all that's pretty self-explanatory. So this video doesn't get long. I'm not actually going to go forward with actually purchasing on KuCoin and showing all of that. Uh, but I will show you what you need so that you're able to do that. Um, so up here where it says Bitcoin USDT, that's the pair that you're looking at. What you need to find is you need to find a pair with BNB, which is the Binance coin. Um, so BNB USDT, uh, so all you'll need to have is some US dollar tether coin in your wallet on KuCoin. Um, so you can deposit into KuCoin using your MetaMask wallet, deposit USDT in there, um, or any other currency that you can then swap for USDT. So you can put Ethereum onto KuCoin. Um, and then swap your Ethereum for USDT. And then once you have USDT and you can select this pair for the USDT BNB, you'll scroll down here to spot trading. Um, I usually just do a market purchase, which just initiates the trade automatically, immediately, um, instead of you know doing some sort of fancier trading where you're trying to hit a price target. Um, and then what you do is you just say how much of your USDT do you want to spend to purchase your BNB with. Um, you would just click this 100% if you want to use all of yours, um, or you can type in any amount, obviously. And then it will tell you how much BNB that will get you, how much you will be able to purchase. And down here where it's telling me to log in, you'll click that, and that will execute the trade. And then from there, you'll need to withdraw that BNB that you just purchased into your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so now that we've withdrawn the BNB from KuCoin and we have it into our MetaMask wallet, we'll go over here to the Gyro app, and we will launch the app. It's going to pr prompt us to connect our wallet. I already have my prompt up here. So click that, and we will allow the permission of connecting to the site. If we're connected, we'll be able to come back here and actually launch the app. And once the app opens up, we'll see we'll have several options. We're going to start out on the dashboard, but what we want to do is we want to come over here to the DEX. So now we're on PancakeSwap, which is one of the main exchanges on the Binance network, as to where we need to be to exchange our BNB for the gyro token. One thing to note here is we don't want to use all of our BNB, because BNB being the native token to the Binance network, that's how we're going to pay our gas fees which is what's going to be required for us to actually be able to stake our gyro on the gyro platform and also withdraw our gyro if at any point we want to unstake it and potentially turn it back into BNB um, or even pull it off of the Binance chain entirely. So you want to make sure that you leave, you know, at least probably 0.02 if you can. Um, it's, so an average transaction on Binance is anywhere from 0.001 to 0.005. Um, so you want to leave enough in there for you to be able to do three, four, five, six transactions. Um, just so you don't have to worry about you know potentially going back to KuCoin, buying more BNB, and uploading more to your wallet, um, so that you're able to do more transactions. So I recommend trying to leave 0.02 if you can. Um, but again, do your own research. Make sure you're making a decision that makes sense for you. Um, but once you get that in there, so I have 0.048. So what I would want to do is uh, probably 0.028. I would click swap. I would click confirm swap. And then it's going to prompt me in MetaMask if I want to move forward with that. I'm not actually going to buy this. I want to just leave my the Binance token as it is because um, I already had my gyro staked. But I would hit confirm there, and that would move forward with purchasing the gyro tokens and exchanging those. So once I do that and that's confirmed, I'll come back over to the gyro site. 
I'll go to the stake page, and here on the stake page, I can see that the APY is going to be 10,400%, and in 4 hours and 28 minutes will be the next time that that compounds and I get a rebase. Um, so I can come down here and I can click the max button. I don't have any gyro in my wallet because all of my gyro is staked. Um, but if I did, I click the max button, that would populate. Come down here and I could click stake, and it would be prompting me with the MetaMask extension to approve the transaction. And that isn't popping up for me right now because I've already got all mine staked. Um, one thing to be careful of though is if you hit it the first time and it stakes, make sure you refresh and that it says your balance is zero and your staked is whatever the balance was. Um, because it may just be a situation where the first time you confirm a transaction, it's only to approve the site to be able to use your gyro. Um, and if you do that, it's not actually staking it. So you might have to actually go through two transactions here. So just be careful of that. Anytime you're staking anything, you want to make sure that you refresh the site and that um, your balance is at zero, assuming that you want to have everything staked and earning rewards for you, and that your staked balance is updated with the number that it should be. So if that's done and your staked is what your purchased amount was, then you're ready to go and you will be earning passive income um, on Gyro. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up and I encourage you to go check out my channel if you enjoyed this video because I do have a lot of videos very similar to this where I look at how to stake on other platforms where you can earn very high APYs. So with that, I'm out of here. Hope everyone has a great day.